How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Set here. Um, I just unpaused the game for like one second off the camera, and the king died. So that was a uh, that was uh, interesting. That the moment I the exact moment that I chose to uh, to you know like play off camera, which I never do because that's bad in this game. Then that happened. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna cut you guys off and try to demolish you. Because I don't need you now. Should be good without him at least. I don't know. Alright. Also they're reinforcing so they cost a little more. Yeah. Just, you know, kind of a little bit of combat maneuvering around and stuff. You know, strategy. So I mean, this might, so might be a little shorter because I do kind of want to go to bed soon. But I did say I was going to record more last episode because I do really want to get to this battle now while it's fresh in my mind. Oh, dumb France. It's going to be so annoying. Look at that. They're just sitting there. They don't know what to do. They're idiots. Those Frenchmen are idiots. <coughs> I've also been playing an offline, uh, off-camera game as the Netherlands. I started as Holland, uh, broke free from Burgundy, or waited till they got native prestige. And then just, uh, yeah, I just like purposely lost battles. They lost prestige. So, I lost prestige for them. And then, uh, well, no, I didn't do that because I wouldn't lose any prestige. I don't remember what my strategy was, but I basically did something. I like tried to lure them into battles. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, so England in that game owns, in 50 years, they united the British Isles. It was insane. They just. They just were insane. They just went, like, berserk on everything. And then uh, immediately after that, then they, like, over during this, they also took back, or kept all their claims in a war. And not only that, they took, like, Alencon and Picardy. And then, after that, they took Gascon, Armagnac, and Perigord, or something like that. Or maybe it was just uh, Armagnac and Gascon. But either way, it's insane how powerful they are. Plus, they're allied with Castile, who was actually smaller than they were at the beginning, because Aragon took over a bunch, and Portugal took over Galicia. And they're also allied with Austria, and they were allied with Portugal as well for a while. It's insane, the uh, the amount of power that England has in that game in less than a hundred years, and I can't believe it. Like I was like literally blown away by this. That's a lot of prestige you're gonna give me, buddy. Thank you. Why? Thank you. I don't need that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Sweet. So now, will he un un black flag in our territory? No. All right. We just need to go to Navarra and resiege it. Wait for France to come in with some backup, and we will go smash the crap out of them. All right, France. Yeah, stop being an idiot. There you go, buddy. Uh, we'll click attach to. It'd be nice if they followed my command a little bit. They're not going to bring those down. <laughs> All right, where's the river crossing? Navarra is the only one. So, that's good. When the, once we siege this back, I will probably go to Milan. Siege that down. I think I should wipe them out first. Oh, now Bo oh yeah, now Bohemia gets here. Hey, buddy. What's up, Bohemia? F you. F you, Bohemia. F you. You Bohemia. Oh, that's so annoying. They waited the whole war. I wouldn't if Bohemia had been helping from the beginning. I wouldn't need to call in France. Then I could call France in against a more stressful war, like against Switzerland, possibly. Or no, never mind. This is probably the most stressful war I'm gonna be having, unless I get a coalition war, which that's a defensive though. So, <coughs> anyways, I'm just blabbering on and on now because I don't know what else to talk about. Also, I'm pissed at Bohemia, you little F-tards, Bohemia. Ugh. Alright. Well, either way, let's go to Speed 4 because we're not doing anything right now. I've noticed, uh, in my recording playbacks, when I move around the map, it uh, lags a little bit, which I should probably just like remember, and from now on, I should pause it when I do that, when I move around the map a lot. When I move a little bit, it seems like it doesn't mind, but when I move around a lot, it does mind. Um, let's see, however, like for this stuff um like just sitting here i'm watching stuff and moving in one set uh view you know 
it doesn't actually seem like it lags at all. So I don't know why it's lagging at all. Actually, I, I looked through my settings, and I think I might have a little bit of stuff that's a little off, a little different. Uh, but yeah, okay, bronze cannon. So Ottomans have hit tech 7 first. Lovely, lovely, just effing lovely in this season. It's not that bad. Is there any reason not to tech up? I'm trying to think. I don't know. We could probably assault this. Hey, uh, you guys, come here. Let me use your troops to assault. <coughs> there we go. Uh, don't attach. You want to attach. There we go. <laughs> Stupid AI. I have no... See, in my other, like, hauling in I was telling you about, France is actually really, like, well, they're not weak. They're still a lot stronger than I am, but they're a lot weaker. In this game, I don't care about France at all. I want them to get weaker so that eventually when they turn on me, which is inevitable, or when I turn on them, which is inevitable, either way, either way, they will be weaker. So what I'm going to do is we're going to not do that because we're about to end the war. We're about to detach these, move these. I don't really care if the mercenaries stay or not. Alright, this is good. I don't want you to attach. I want... Yes, good. <laughs> so dirty. Um, I'm not leading the siege, apparently? Okay, F me then. I guess I can't do that clever strategy where you assault it and make the other people lose troops because you don't have much enough. I was there first. I guess it's just when they have superior numbers. I don't, I don't even know how the siege leader thing works anymore. Maybe it'll say, like, how the, the siege leader is, um, let's see, I don't know. I don't even effing know. Alright, well, cool. We won the war. We won the war. We won the war. 25.8. That's okay. That'll still keep me up, like, below 40 with everyone, right? Oh, never mind. Maybe not. It's going to make a lot of people angry. I have truces with lots of them anyways, though. And I'm not sure this is a good idea, but, you know. I have claims on all of it, too. And it still costs all that. Jeez. That cuts down... That cuts down more that I'm going to take it in court for myself? Do I want to do that? No. Milan. Well, let's see. Milan is a really good city. It'd probably be good to have for myself. On the other hand... Once I'm going to move the mic. Okay. Um, on the other hand, let's see. I kind of want to keep it solidified, so then we just move across from there. I don't know. No, it'll be good if we can fabricate a claim on Venice. That's going to cost a lot, a lot to freaking core, though. It's going to cost like 250 or something like that, I bet you. Um, if we do this. I don't know. I guess we'll just, yeah, do this, and then maybe we'll move down along the coast and move them along to over here. I don't know how we're going to do this, really. Probably va we'll probably annex them before we can do much with them anyways, so... I, I don't know. I would like to get this city. Now, you know what? Oh, I don't have a different... <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to wait a couple months, apparently. Alright, sorry guys, but, well, I thought you were going to get off with uh, getting out of here early. No, sir. Uh, no, we'll, we'll get out of here early still. So we're going to do this. We're going to merge you. We're going to detach. We're going to freaking disband all the mercs. America! F yeah! We're going to build some more units, though, because um, if you can see, we have a pretty weak standing army, which is not good, because if a coalition does form, they will instantly, like, fire it and attack me. Let's see, do I want to take Milan for myself or not? It's such a good province. It's one of the best in the game. It's one of the best in the game. 
But if I take it, it'll start with 50, 60 percent autonomy. Whereas if Milan takes it, it'll be if Milan. If I annex them, it would be less, right? Or yeah. Hmm. I, how about I'll take Parma instead, and they'll be the northern part, northeastern Italy. Huh. But then there's also a benefit to keeping them more whole, so they have more power as a vassal, because they're gonna. I'm gonna be using their power at least once or twice. I know I will be. They have claims on Brescia and Novara. Oh no, they. Oh, that's one of their cores. Oh, that's even better. We could do a Reconquista against Venice, although Venice likes us. Hmm. I didn't realize that Venice liked us. That actually might be useful information. You think I should try to... Uh, no, Venice is going to hate us after this aggressive expansion thing. Well, you know what? In that case, let's try it. Let's just effing try it. No, nah, they're not going to do it. Never mind. Forgot about that. Forgot about that whole being in a war thing. All right, we should be able to enforce it now. So let's do it. So we can't humiliate them, unfortunately, on the way out of the door. That would have been really nice, but oh well. Bam. Wow. All right, let's go look at aggressive expansion mode. Oh, that's pretty bad. Ah. Uh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, Austria, Switzerland, oh, they really hate me down there. Okay, then. That was, uh, probably not the, it lied to me. Why did it lie to me? It took more than it said it was going to take. Hmm. Venice probably hates me now. Let's see. Provence, we should probably, like, set as our rival. Uh, just for now, I don't know. It says they still like me, which is funny. I wonder if they would actually take an alliance. Yeah, no, they won't now. <laughs> funny game. Tricks are for kids. Ah, right, well, Milan likes us now. They're loyal, even though they hate us, which is good, actually. All right, watch the coalition form. I'd be surprised if one didn't form. That's really, 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 really high aggressive expansion. I'm really glad. Yeah, there it is. I'm really glad that they nerfed the the coalition uh, limit and stuff because that it was so annoying before. Now it's bearable. Yeah, so there's going to be a whole bunch of angry one province miners all around us that are going to be wanting to tear our throats out. All right, well that's bad. We should definitely improve relations with like Austria to try and help them help out with this so that Austria doesn't. Oh God, it's going to be terrible gonna be terrible the plot in it too yep join the party guys join the effing party join the effing party wonder how long it's gonna take to clear well yeah that's a that's a good good question you want to wait till it fires guys Okay, yeah, I will take a Royal Marriage France because otherwise you guys are going to hate me. Even they don't like me. This was a bold move. I may be punished for it. Also, France, you need to get your army back home. Otherwise, we're screwed. I have powerful allies, which is one thing, though. So, let's see. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right choice. But either way, I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully we won't be punished too badly for it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.